Well, at least I tried. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Doak and I would like to welcome you in your favorite I Try series. After the previous episode where we have tried shiny but painful glitter, today it's time to do something way easier. Well, easier in terms of pain, you know, because in terms of skills, uh, I expect something much more difficult than just painting dots. You should know that I've already tried to paint fire. It's one of my favorite walls of the last few months. And today we will try a complete opposite of fire, water. The preparation for this painting was not that difficult because this effect is quite popular in graffiti community. The main source of inspiration and knowledge was a guy with an Instagram account, Jack Eulis. I hope that I pronounced it good. He really likes water, definitely check him out. There are also some tutorials on YouTube about painting water uh, with brushes, but also with a spray paint. And I've also been looking at pictures of water on Google, for sure. Based on all the information that I found, I believe that there is a method that will bring us success today. So I have a sketch and I have a theory about this method in my hat. Let's try to paint it. So here is a theory behind this method. You have a base color which is blue right now but it might be red or whatever. Then you have a spray paint with slightly lighter color than the background. Then you have black and white can. You start with black and you create this sort of bubble effect all around. Then you take the lighter color you make a reflection and then you take white and make highlights over here and boom it looks like a water sort of uh, maybe this blue is too whitish I'll try a different shade of blue slightly darker one yep this looks better Let's see if I can use it on a really big and complicated graffiti art. So that's the sketch and right now I'll try to make it like a water way like the sketch will be made of water and I'm not really sure if these shapes will even stay there like I am not really sure what am I what am I doing or how to do it but it should be okay it'll be okay it'll be okay it'll be okay don't worry this is the goal um looking at the structure the water the effects most of the time people do just these dots but this like the splash that's something more complex more dif difficult there are also areas like this where you don't really need to do that much well let's try Think. I think that it already looks kind of interesting. The dog licked this stick and he has 
blue mouth right now. I guess that it's partly my mistake, but yeah, th this color is not toxic. He he should be okay. Nice! I love it. I mean, I'm a little bit afraid that it already looks like satisfying for me and there is still a lot of work. But yeah, so far this water effect, easy, fun. So right now I'll be working with blue. The reflections will be over here and this will go or... Okay, so the light source goes from here, which means that this part will be slightly lighter. It doesn't really make sense, but whatever. And the, the reflections that I made over here, if you remember, will be over here. At least that's the theory. Let's do it. Looking at the piece, I, I say that I like the yellow, but it doesn't fit there. Like uh, in reality, okay, the yellow might be there, but it has to be everywhere because it might be a reflection of something yellow. But it doesn't make sense that it's just somewhere. So I'll just I'll just make it totally blue because that's how water looks in reality. It already looks really good, in my opinion. You might think something different, but whatever. Uh, I will try to add shadow over there right now. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I feel like it's missing something. Uh, it needs some adjustments. I've been looking at it for about 10 minutes right now and it needs adjustments. Buy an island just to give me a tent. Count money with my feet in the sand. I do what I want, that's beyond what I can. Hey, windows tinted, can't see in it, in that brand new eye. Got no grilling, need no filling on my cold gay smile. Heartbreaker, no, I leave him on red. Break mine, that's like one of the hit. Love hard, but I don't stand a chance to catch in the way and it's up to my head. Ay, see the commas in my vision, my head spinning right. Got some drama, can't be with it, I'm just winning. I. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X on me, right? New X, new X, new X, new X, new X on me, right? I might spin it, I might spin it, I might spin it, I. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm done. To sum up this challenge, I need to say that it's, it was not a really, it's not a hard challenge. You need just three cans, three colors, background, and that's it, you know? The main thought that I had in my head for the whole length of painting was that I'm, I'm not really um, copying natural way of splashes, or not in a literal way. Because I had two options. I follow it, I follow the natural way, or I follow the flow of the letters. I follow the graffiti essentials. Uh, and I decided to pick up 
option number two because I think that still the effect is is there I was also uh, looking at the piece for about 30 minutes and thinking like what else I might add over there but uh, I think that it looks good just like this so guys if you like it thumb up would be awesome as always and as always don't forget to let me know in the comments below what else should I try what effects what objects materials should I try to paint on a wall let me know down there because this is it.